it's a whole different feeling when you're using these and the stimulation is there. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you're watching me for the first time, hi, my name is Renata and I make YouTube videos. I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. If you clicked on this video, stick around because I'm about to show you how I keep my hair long and healthy, shiny, my hair care routine, my hair secrets, from shampoo to conditioner, from hair masks. Let's just say I have a lot to show you guys in here. So very often people come up and they ask me if I have any hair extensions in because my hair is so long and thick and I have a lot of it. The answer is obviously no. If you guys watched my last video, what I eat in a day, I did share with you guys that I got a haircut. So my hair right now is this long. So it's pretty much past my breast area. So Since I cut my hair short, I've had it short for about four years and then I decided of course that I missed my long hair so I started growing it back again and this is where we're at right now my hair care routine does change within seasons so right now the weather is pretty cold and dry so I am using more moisturizing products tip number one if you want to grow your hair and this is for real do not cut your hair if you guys want to grow long hair please don't cut it because you're never gonna see results literally like ever when I was growing my hair out I made sure to firmly tell my hairdresser not to cut my hair. Only trim, like a millimeter. Do you know what I mean? Like barely anything just to take off the split ends or whatnot, just literally a trim. You need to let them know that you're growing your hair out because the way they look at it is, oh, that's a lot of hair that's damaged. You need a haircut, you know? But if you're down for this, you'd rather have a short, nice bob modern cut rather than a long rat tail hanging. You know what I mean? Like. Everything that I'm about to show you is literally everything that's been helping me for my hair type. I do have more thick coarse hair. So for shampoo and conditioner, I wash my hair with the Redken All Soft Mega Shampoo and Conditioner. This is amazing for the colder months when you have dry hair. If your hair is oily or more on the thin side, I do not recommend these products because they will weigh your hair down, but they are amazing for thick, coarse hair, you guys. This is my number one in the colder months and sometimes in the warmer months too, depending on how my hair feels and my scalp too. Redken in general has amazing products. They also have the all soft original version of this shampoo and conditioner. And it's a little bit less moisturizing, like less, less heavy. So maybe you guys will like that one instead. But I went for Mega because my hair needs the love. But I highly recommend these two. You need these in your life. The next thing I use are these two scalp massages that I got from... I think I got these from Amazon or Marshalls. I don't remember. So a lot of times when you're washing your hair, a lot of people tend to naturally use their nails and that really just scratches your scalp. You guys do not want to do that to yourself. I have two because one is just not enough, especially when you have a lot of hair, but just in general, two feels like two hands. So it's really nice just to get in there. It's a whole different feeling when you're using these and the stimulation is there. Massaging your scalp in the shower just in general really helps with blood circulation, which helps with hair growth. So when your hair is coming out of your scalp, it's coming out healthy because the nutrients are getting to the scalp. Do you know what I mean? I use these two literally every time I wash my hair. But yeah, try it for yourselves and you'll see what I mean. This next product is a hair mask and this hair mask right here, this is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And you guys, this is the definition of deep repair. Right after I shampoo my hair and before I put on my conditioner, this is the stuff that goes on my hair. It penetrates very deeply into the hair follicle. It does the job. It nourishes your hair. After I use this, you guys, my hair is super shiny. It's sleek. It feels amazing in the shower when you wash it out, when you're rinsing this out, even before you put in your conditioner. And that's exactly what you want. You do not have to spend a lot of money. Like I said, if you have like a TJ Maxx or a Marshall around you, they literally have this. They have a shampoo and conditioner, but for some reason, my hair does not like those. So I just go with the hair mask. And for some reason, just the hair mask itself works well wonders for me. People that have used this product will tell you how amazing this is. So do not sleep on this. Get yourself one at least. By the way, this is going to last you for a long time. You do not need a lot of this. A little goes a long way. That's the beauty of this product. It's amazing. And I think I got mine for $20. But yeah, I cannot say enough about this stuff. It's amazing and it smells so good, you guys. Just please promise me that you'll at least try this. So this next product I don't always use. It is, it's the Goldwell Color Revive and it looks like this. 
and the color that I have it in is cool brown so this is basically a toner and it kind of has color inside of it a brunette toner let's say you don't like warm tones in it I do but sometimes I don't so I will use this, this is supposed to make your hair have more cooler tones than warmer tones so depending on how I feel I will use this sometimes and I just use it in the shower and I leave it in for like 10 minutes while I shave or do something or do something like a hair mask basically and you just rinse it out and you just follow up with the conditioner and it's just a really nice product it makes you feel like you went to the salon without going to the salon because your hair tone kind of looks different so it's nice it's cool the next thing I use is a comb. If you're using a regular hairbrush in the shower on your wet hair, please stop because you're literally ripping your hair into pieces and then you're wondering why your hair looks horrible when it dries. This is also from the Macadamia line. Um, they have combs and like everything. It's just a wide tooth comb and it's just really easy to brush your hair out. So a lot of times instead of a regular hairbrush, I will use just a comb in the shower or just even when my hair is dry. It just really goes through the hair very easy and it doesn't rip your hair out and I just love using this. It also says that it's infused with the uh, macadamia oil but hmm, I don't know how true that is. But using a white tooth comb is a lot healthier than using a regular hairbrush depending on the hairbrush you have but this really gets all the tangles out in the shower when you're conditioning your hair and you want to spread out the conditioner with something so this is amazing so yeah. Speaking of hairbrushes I do use a wooden hairbrush. Um, I have a lot of hair in this one. Sorry for the light change, you guys. It is getting really dark outside all of a sudden. So next, I have three hair oils. Well, four, but I don't have that one on hand right now, which is the coconut oil, which is amazing. But these are my ultimate hair treatments. So the first one that I have is my Moroccan oil. And I also have my castor oil. Also rosemary oil. These three oils, including my coconut oil, I will use as hair treatments. This one, the Moroccan oil one, I will use as a leave-in treatment because it smells amazing and it does not weigh down my hair. Unless if I use like a lot of it, you know what I mean? Which I don't. If you guys don't use rosemary oil in your hair care routine, you guys should start if you want to grow long hair because this really grows your hair. Also, I have the castor oil and as you guys know, castor oil is so thick, it's insane. So I always mix it with my coconut oil or my rosemary oil to dilute it and kind of like make it more thinner because this stuff is literally heavy it feels impossible to spread it out in your hair like this is amazing even to grow your brows your lashes just in general apply it use this you guys will see a big difference when you start using and taking care of your scalp scalp massages with hair oils with the right hair oils is what's going to help you get that result and grow that hair out also i do use a dry oil for my hair after the shower this is the Aveda Dry Remedy um, hair oil. This almost feels and smells like an essential oil, but much better. This really gives your hair the hydration and the silkiness. I also heard that this has some heat protection in it. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it leaves my hair nice and soft and really helps with dry time when I'm blow drying my hair just in general when my hair is drying, which is very strange, but that's also one of the things that it does. So that's pretty nice. Next is hairspray. So for hairspray, it's uh, pretty simple. I have a... I have the Verb Sea Salt Hairspray and it's nothing special but what I do like about this one is it's very light. I do not like heavy hairsprays. I don't know what it is. I don't like the crunch, okay y'all? If you guys like the crunch, you do you boo but I don't like the crunch so this is just a very nice lightweight hairspray so just to hold what you styled basically, you know what I mean? Next I have the Pravana Fresh Dry Shampoo. Dry shampoo is amazing if you guys want to skip hair wash day. As you guys know, washing your hair is not good for you. It dries out your scalp, it dries up your hair. You do not need to be shampooing your hair every day. Like, that's insane. After I style my hair, I do like to use a hair oil. So sometimes I will go in with my Moroccan oil or I will go in with this one. This one is the Here Hair Care Moroccan Oil. It's a hair serum. Um, I feel like this one really makes your hair sleek. So does this one. These two both smell really, really nice. Sometimes I mix them up if I need more hydration um, or just more shine. So you guys, last but not least, I like to use a hair scent spray. It's called Flora Aura and it just smells really, really nice and gives your hair like the extra scent and just smells super good. And the next one I have is by Pacifica and this is in the scent Pachui Sandalwood Pink Rose. And this smells really, really nice and it also says hair and body mist. So I get a lot of compliments whenever I use these two because they are kind of like 
perfumey like they are very scented just the same as we use body spray or perfume this is like perfume for your hair so we have come to an end of my hair tricks and tips video and I really really hope this video was helpful for you guys like I always say love your hair and it'll love you back don't forget to like this video if it was helpful to you I also make lifestyle and fashion content I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video